So this is the current situation in Portland right now. Snow. And if you've ever been to Portland, it doesn't snow here. So when it does, people go crazy. Stuff gets shut down. I saw about, I don't know, like 50 cars on the side of the road. Driving them about eight miles, just abandon them. I guess uh, there's huge traffic and they decided to leave their cars on the side of the road instead of uh, being able to get home. So crazy last two days, but still able to get to the gym, still able to get work in. And now uh, I posted up on Instagram my breakfast and asked if anyone had any nutrition questions. So let's knock them out. First question is from DB23S. Um, do you follow a specific ratio per meal or follow a general macronutrient total? So pretty much what I do is I like to do right now at this moment, I'm doing carb rotating. So I have a high carb day, a medium carb day, and a low carb day. And those macros are set pretty much based on maintenance level that I found over time. So to say that I have a set meal plan or set macro scheme that anybody can just follow, it's, it's definitely suited and geared towards me. So the fact that um, I can't determine exactly what you're doing and how you're doing it. I can't really tell you exactly what to do. Uh, there's a lot of evidence to show anywhere from three to six meals is ideal. Uh, for someone bigger, I like to give them more meals. That way they have an easier time digesting the food and not just stuff in their face with a big meal so they can get all their calories in. If you're trying to cut weight on your non-training days, I like to cut the carbs down super low and uh, up the fat and then on your training days I like to put the carbs around the workouts if you're trying to gain weight on your off days we focus on recovery so we add in uh, roughly like anywhere from 50 to 150 grams of carbs depending on the person um, everything's really dependent on the person but I would say just kind of track what you're eating right now and if you do that and you lose weight for a week then and your goal is to lose weight then that's a pretty good macro breakdown for you uh, place carbs around the workout place fats further away from carb meals and that's that's pretty simple that's that's just about all you really need to know when it comes to to diet in um, power lifters definitely don't need as many carbs as they think they do but if you're making progress and you're having carbs and you're staying pretty lean, then keep going for it. So next question, Jacob Rothenberg, uh, old friend of mine from CSA. What's up, man? Uh, what's your view on utilizing a ketogenic diet for powerlifting? Do you feel that the carb deprivation takes too much away from being able to train productively? So I would say that kind of depends on where you're at in your training and what your goal is for that training cycle. I do think that um, having a keto style approach every now and then is good. Uh, is it sustainable for strength? I would say no. So maybe doing like a four to six week or four to eight week keto phase where you're kind of just getting rid of the carbohydrates because carbohydrates are very inflammatory and going with uh, fats and proteins for a little bit. Uh, during a certain part of your training phase where your main goal is just general health and uh, maybe GPP or conditioning or maybe lose a little bit of weight that's a great way to go but when it comes time to peak in and comes time for hypertrophy and strength I would definitely not advocate a ketogenic diet just because the depletion of glycogen needs to be refilled and the best way to do that is through carbohydrates the best way to have energy while training is in my opinion through carbohydrates fast acting energy um, but definitely worth a shot in the off season why you're why there's no meats coming up and just try it see how you feel next up mr. Eric Moore what's your thoughts on raw lifters utilizing a circa max phase to peak for a meat so clearly not a nutrition question um, to say what phase you should use to peak for meat would be really dependent on how you train leading up to that meat so in order for me to give you an answer I would have to say let me see how you're training Tony Sai, not competing yet, but currently sitting at 255 pounds, down from 285. Nice progress, man. Would like to get a lot leaner. 
um, more you have more fat than muscle what would you recommend to get down to 220 without losing the strength gains I've made the past eight months in my training um, to drop another 35 pounds unfortunately you would probably have to change up your style of training go to more hypertrophy and not really worry about your strength at the moment just worry about you know everything has to be prioritized aesthetics doesn't always necessarily mean strength and vice versa doesn't you know everybody's body types different so I would say prioritize what you really want if you really want to lose weight change up your training so you're not chasing numbers and once you get to that weight and you start to reverse diet then the strength will come back then you can refocus and revisualize kind of your goals of what strength should be at that body weight so prioritize what you want to do first accomplish that and then focus on uh, which one you didn't do this time uh, Tony asked another question. What are your favorite resources for nutrition training as far as books or YouTube channels or whatnot? So the two guys that I really respect the most and that I read all their stuff is uh, Dr. Scott Stevenson and Justin Harris. So you guys, you can Google them. Uh, they have books. They have YouTubes. They have podcasts. They have all kinds of stuff. So check them out. They have a great amount of knowledge. They do a lot of research-based stuff and they also do a lot of anecdotal stuff because they've been in the game for for a couple decades so make sure you guys check them out make sure you guys like subscribe below if you have any more nutrition questions or training questions i'll post another q a up in about a month and we can knock those out guys thanks for always supporting the channel thanks for everything and until next time take care